There are different types of stem cells in our bodies. The stem cells that are in our intestine, the stem cells in our skin, our kidney, all of those stem cells have the capability of generating any cell types within an organ. We can repair our skin when we get a wound, our livers regenerate, however a lot of our organs regenerate very poorly. We are every day identifying new stem cell populations that allow us to think about replacing tissues in the body. What we're trying to do is understand the fundamental basis of different diseases. How can we regenerate function where function is missing? Hearing loss and balance disorders are really major problems. The sensory hair cells of the inner ear are extremely fragile and they die for lots of different reasons and we want to know why. So we are looking for ways of preserving these cells or regenerating these cells after the loss of the sensory hair cells. We can make stem cells that match to the patient immunotype. Neurodegenerative diseases are a huge problem in the aging patient population. How can we figure ways out that we can generate the cell types that are degenerating in the patient and put those back and try and repair that disease. One great advantage of zebrafish is that they share many of the organs that we do, skeleton, heart, liver. In addition, zebrafish and us have 95% of our genes in common. So we can make the same mutation in zebrafish and get the same sort of organ defects that you can in human birth defects. What's happening with those cell types within the patient? Why do they degenerate? Can we figure ways out that we can stop that happening? This is the most interesting question that you could possibly want to work on. One reason I think that USC is such a great place for research is that there's such a breadth and diversity of developmental biology and stem cell research here. Collaboration allows us to bring the most modern developments in stem cell biology to bear on the problem of regeneration. Each of us is an individual. We are all different. We all may seem to have the same disease, but in fact it's maybe all a little bit different because of our different genetic makeup. Regenerative medicine is going to be very important in future years. Manipulating cell populations within the body will allow us to cure disease and that potential is seemingly unlimited. This is going to have the greatest impact in the future of medicine.